Okay, hello. This video is what I think on the War on Terror. So, I'll try to talk and stay away from the military industrial complex. Uh, it's probably another video. <sighs> talk about the War on Terror. Um, I guess after September 11th is when we really started our war on terror. Um, well, about a September 11th, number one, if we wanted to stop September 11th, all you do is lock those cockpit doors, and those guys couldn't have gone in. Um, so, I mean, if I was the president, I would have just, like, made a law that you have to, that pilots aren't allowed to open up cockpit doors. And, uh, but, anyways, I think what we really need to do, fighting a war on terror is fight, is just pr spend all of our money protecting our own borders. That's what a country is, that you go and you protect your own borders. It's a lot cheaper to do it that way. Um, just to keep immigrants from coming over with one of these little nuclear suitcase-sized nuclear bombs and, um, nuking a city which is possible and that would suck if that happened in it so you know and it, it would it's entirely possible to happen with the, all how big and porous our borders are so let's just seal up our borders spend the money doing that and not spend so much money maybe this will turn into the military industrial complex going out there and kicking ass um we have plenty of soldiers who wouldn't would love to do that um but the problem is that it costs a whole lot of money and money's a scarce uh we need to start spending money on things that are going to actually have a result and uh going out there and kicking ass isn't going to have any result at all it's gonna it just cost money um, I'm talking about Guantanamo Bay, we should close that place, give it back to the Cubans, or maybe not give it back to the Cubans, turn it into some cool new age teaching facility. Um, we should not have gone into Iraq. Um, now I don't remember if we how much the world wanted to go into Afghanistan. I don't think we should have gone into Afghanistan either. I really hate countries like that when Bush said they're the axis of evil. People got all pissed off at him, but I would agree with him that is the axis of evil. I know there's lots of smart people in, 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 in Iran. It's an ancient culture. But uh, the government is uh, not a democracy. It should be a democracy. Um, so, um, yeah, um, I think the war on terror that we're waging now is a war of fear, and it's not necessary. Um, I think the people who say, oh, let's go out there and kick ass, get all those terrorists before they get us, are freaked out and scared that, um, that their terrorism is going to grow, um, that they're that their terrorist cells are just going to grow and multiply and you know their training camps are going to just get more and more recruits and um, well I think going into these countries and invading these countries actually makes those people want to um, join in on the fight and become terrorists even more because the whole reason that they don't like us is they don't like imperialists so it's kind of like fighting fire with fire, being an imperialist to make other people fight the imperialists. <laughs> so let's be bigger imperialists so that they want to fight us even more. Um, so as far as what should we do at this point, yeah, get out of Iraq, um, help let the Iraqis take over their country. I think they can do it by now. The world has changed a lot since Saddam Hussein took their country over. I think they can handle a democracy. I haven't done any reading on it. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, I don't think we should go into Iran. I don't think we're gonna go into Iran. I don't think that's a problem. That's something to worry about. 
I don't think we should go into Korea, but I don't think we're going to do that either. Um, because I think these, pla these places are going to, um, and in Korea too, I think these places are going to naturally have an, um, a revolution, an interior revolution. And the way this is going to happen, I think the best way to fight terrorism is, um, Maybe this video will just turn into a military industrial complex one too. Best way to fight terrorism really is it's just amazing what's happening with YouTube. Um, anybody can have their own TV, own channel, and their own TV show. And um, people can, people, and not just can, but people are uploading videos all the time. Like me, I am addicted to uploading videos. I've got the Kyle Show. Welcome to the Kyle Show. And, uh, I know people, you know, people watch my videos, and I don't, you know, I definitely want people to watch my videos. If, like, my, if I look at my video and it has, like, a zero every day, I'd be like, oh, man, schnat. But I look at my videos the next day, and there's, like, four or five views, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? So, like, I know people are watching me and stuff, and that's cool. So, um, anyways, and then I watch other people. And, uh, anyways, people just, but once everybody does that, then people, it's just going to grow. And, oh man, maybe this will turn into another video about the growth of YouTube. But, uh, the thing is, is the more people share our minds, um, the more obvious it's going to become how stupid, um, axis of evil countries are and countries of suppression are, countries where people are suppressed are, and those people who are suppressed, how stupid they are. Um, I get, sometimes people comment on some of my videos really angrily, like I have a video where I talk about where the five races came from, and that is in, that has brought up a lot of anger in people, um, I, and I watched the video yesterday, and I didn't say anything like totally out there, like I was pretty sane. But I guess, I guess, since that's such a big question, people watch it and they go, um, they, you know, normal people watch it, or a lot of people watch it, and they just, they just get pissed off that I'm talking about stuff that's not, that's, I guess, new. Like, sun mutations and stuff like that, that's the main thing. So anyways, but the thing is, is people, they don't ever send you a video response. Um, and, and that's just... And I haven't really researched it much, but I think people who who have closed minds, like people in these countries, um, they don't argue. They just don't understand the concept of arguing. They just get angry and shout slogans, and and so there's nothing to be afraid of. You know, we get afraid. Oh no, they're going to grow. They're going to grow. But the thing is, is people within their countries, anybody with a brain understands the point of arguing and if you understand the point of arguing then the truth is always going to be revealed and when the truth is revealed all of these little terrorist cells and terrorist recruit numbers just go down and it just evaporates and goes away so you know like what should we do about North Korea um, I, don't know, I think I'll make that in like the next video but uh, no, places like North Korea they'll just um, Eventually, when people start watching YouTube videos, you know, or, 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 or um, educating themselves, and it just, uh, it's kind of like the universe has a built-in um, fail-safe system where the good always win. And so, being afraid and going out there and spending money on uh, war really is not a, uh, not a not a, a smart thing to do, it's just, uh, well, fighting fire with fire, it's not a smart thing to do. Um, so the war on terror, no more hunting down people, I mean, special forces, sure, let's send little groups of special forces out, but no more torturing, no more Guantanamo Bay, no more, um, no more spending money freaking out. Oops, I'm out of time, I think I'm going to keep going with some other videos now.